this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Bachimeg Toshin Tags and Kolaud Sa'al Zarawuni. Just a note, I'm not speaking another language, I'm just pronouncing names of these chess players. And now I need to have a break. This is the game from Chess Olympiad women's section that was played in Tromsø in 2014. Bachmeg Tushintags is grand granddaughter of Genghis Khan representing Mongolia and Kolaud S. Al Zarouni is representing United Arab Emirates. The game started with d4, d5, knight to f3, knight to f6, e3. White is going for coal opening. e6, bishop to d3, bishop to e7, b3, zukertot, coal. Knight from b to d7, bishop to b2, b6. Knight from b to d2, bishop to b7, knight to e5, c5, both players castle kingside, f4, knight to e4, knight takes on e4, pawn takes knight, bishop to c4. Now knight takes on e5, and of course white recaptured with f pawn, rook to c8, queen to e2, bishop to d5, bishop to a6 attacking the rook, rook to c7, rook from a to d1. Is it equal, what do you think? The question is, which side will manage to improve the position in next couple of moves? Queen to a8, c4, bishop to c6. If bishop goes to b7, then bishop takes bishop and after queen takes bishop, d5. So we have bishop to c6, queen to g4. Note that white queen and white dark skilled bishop are connecting on g7. All that white has to do is to sneeze and to remove those two pawns on d and e file. Black to move. In a very uncomfortable position, we have a bad move, bishop to d7. Why is this a bad move? White to move. What would you do? If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for white. What did you find? d5 is the best. And this is the move played in the game. Better than bishop to d7 was rook to d8 fighting for the d-file. We have bishop to d7, d5, bishop to d8, queen takes on a4, e takes on d5, c takes on d5, white dominates the center, b5, white move. What would you do? Bachimeg Tufshintag's played e6. Bishop takes on e6. If pawn takes, then rook takes rook. And after king takes rook, queen takes on h7. And white is winning. So after e6, we have bishop takes on e6. If pawn takes bishop, then the queen takes a queen. White to move, what would you do? Queen to e5. Threatening queen takes pawn on g7 checkmate. Bishop to f6. 
by tomorrow. What would you do now? But she made two shintags captured the bishop with rook. Queen to d8. If pawn takes rook, then queen takes on f6 and how to prevent checkmate on g7? After, say, c4, queen to g7, checkmate. So we have a queen to d8. It is a white move. White play the move and black resigned. White play the rook to f3. Black resigned. In view of this consideration, f6, then queen takes bishop check, and after say king to h8, bishop takes pawn, and white has a huge material advantage. Hmm. What do you think of this game? What do you think of this opening, a call opening, Zuckertot variation? Interesting opening, isn't it? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.